Welcome back to Venom Motorsports. So today what we're going to do is we're going to remove the exhaust off this X22R. It's not going to be hugely difficult um, and we're just going to need a couple of minor little tools, nothing too uh, extravagant and we'll just get this pop right off and set off to the side and then uh, I'll show you how to put it right back on. So I'm going to get my camera and my tools and stuff and uh, I'll get everything into position and we'll get ready to start. Okay, so we're down on the right hand side of the bike. What we're gonna do first is, is take off our manifold bolts. So the manifold bolts, let's see if I can get my camera down to a place where you can see them. There they are, right there. It's right there are your manifold bolts. So we're gonna take those out first and they're just a 12 mil. So we can go ahead and take them off. And it's always best to take them off right now than to try to take them off once you've loosened everything because then you're just trying to um, dangle and, and play with the, the, the whole exhaust. It's not an ideal place, but it's hard with the camera there. I just want to... I'm gonna grab a longer extension so I don't have to touch the fender there. Like I said, it's really hard with the camera here. But I'm going to go ahead and take off those bolts. I'm just hitting the camera and knocking them around. But there's just, like I said, there's just those two bolts. You want to take that one off and the one down below, and that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and uh, I'll break back. All right, so I got my uh, 12s off there. Um, so now I got to get the 12 off here at the bottom. And I gotta get the 12 off at the top. So, first one I'm gonna take off though is the one up here. Cause I don't want that just hanging down. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. And I need a wrench for the back cause this one's got a nut on it. Okay, I Just like that. put that bolt and back together so we don't lose it. Now, all we have to do is come right here to where our 12 is and take that off. And believe it or not then, the exhaust will come right out. Just kind of lift up on the exhaust when you take that out and shake it about the front because you got your, uh, your bolts off. And then you just have to pull it down like that. And oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move my camera because you have to turn it to get it out of there without breaking any fairings. Just like that. And that is it, guys. That's how you remove the exhaust on your X22R. Now putting it back on is gonna be the exact same way as we took it off. Um, the only thing is we have to line this up at the front with our manifold, but I mean, it's not difficult. But remember, when you're putting it in, it has to be laid down and go in from an angle like this to go up and turn into place. So let's get it back to where it belongs. And we just turn it up like that and like that. up like that to the motor and then back up like that and see how easy that was like it didn't, it didn't take me a long time it wasn't hard i'm just gonna put that one bolt there once i put that one bolt like that 
and it'll hold it in place. It's not flopping all over the place on me. And so now I'm just gonna get ready to uh, put the manifold up. I wanna put my camera in place so you can see what I'm talking about. We'll get it in place. Once it's in place, it's not a big deal. Then we can go ahead and put our bolt back on and uh, on the back and then get our two nuts back up on the manifold and that's it guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab the exhaust. I'm gonna work it around from the side there. And I gotta find manifold hole. Might actually take the front this one right off right here. So once I put that in position, I can always move it. There we go. So that's where I want it to be now. So I can leave that right like that. I can go ahead and put my bolt back in here. I'm just gonna go finger tight with that for now. Just like that. And then, I'm still got this loosened up a bit. I can make sure it's in place in the front. this up here bring it all the way up so I'm gonna put my there we go. And I can go ahead and just start my nuts on there so they're already on do it from the other side because it will be a little easier. Be very careful of the identification plate on this side, on the left side. It's very sharp. It's like a razor and it'll cut you. So just be very careful when you're uh, moving around or doing any bolting around there. So that's good. Now we can put this back to where it belongs. So I'm going to get a bar.
12 mil so I can put my bolt in or my I can just turn it through and I got my nut on now. And now I just have to put your wrench on. Sorry, I just don't like the washer being off center. It doesn't look drives me kind of crazy. There we go, just like that. That's tight. Now, we can go ahead and tighten up our manifold bolts at the front. Again, I'm gonna do this off camera because uh, I just can't see the thing. Um, I'd like to get to it. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm like I said, I'm gonna tighten those up. Once those are nice and tightened, I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the on this side so I'll do it on camera I can do the other side so here we go so I'm just gonna go to the left hand side of the bike I'm gonna do this with a wrench because it's a lot easier because this this one's right behind the frame so Want this tight, or you'll have an intake leak or a exhaust leak. You don't want an exhaust leak. our last bolt right here. And that's it. So that guys is how to uh, remove and replace the exhaust on your X-22R.